In this screencast, we are going to talk about the distributive property and specifically looking at GCF as associated with the distributive property and how we can use the GCF to rewrite an expression or a number sentence, an addition problem using the distributive property and its two forms. So just a reminder that when working with the distributive property, we do have two forms, two ways to write the distributive property. We have our factored form, which is when the number that they have in common, that the expression has in common, the two sets of parentheses have in common, is pulled out in the front. And then we also have our expanded form when our shared number is placed inside both sets of parentheses and then multiplied by the other numbers. So we're going to take a look um, back a little bit at using prime factorization to find the greatest common factor because this is um, the easiest way to find GCF between two numbers and it's going to help you when you are trying to rewrite an addition sentence or subtraction sentence, a number sentence, using the distributive property. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to find the prime factorization of 16 and 28. So you should have a note sheet in front of you and you're going to go ahead and fill out the uh, prime factorization for both 16 and 28 and then go ahead and hit play to see if your answer matches mine. So if you take a look at my prime factorization for 16 and for 28, I get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 for 16 and 2 times 2 times 7 for 28. I'm now going to compare my lists and I'm gonna start with the number two. I see that I have one pair of twos, and I see that I can also make a second pair of twos, or a second group of twos. So my first group of twos makes one two, my second group of twos makes a second two, I multiply them together, and my GCF between 16 and 28 is going to be the number four. So, the GCF of 16 and 28 is 4. Now we are going to use this number to rewrite the expression using the distributive property. Our expression, if you remember back to the beginning, was the number six or were was the number sentence 16 plus 28. So we're now going to use 4 to rewrite 16 plus 28 using the distributive property. So once again, just as a reminder, there are two ways to write the distributive property, or two forms. The first form is factored form, and the second form is expanded form. And we have talked about expanded form before, both with the distributive property as well as with exponents. Expanded form just means that something is stretched out. Factored form means that it's kind of compact and put together into a nice little package. So if we take a look at the number 16 plus 28, we're now down at the part where we are going to use the GCF, which was 4. And we are going to rewrite the sum, so that means addition, the sum of 16 and 28 using the distributive property. The first step of this part is going to be to take each number and divide it by the GCF. So I get 16 divided by 4, and I would get 28 divided by 4. So if I think about 16 divided by 4 is 4, 28 divided by 4 is 7. The second step of this part is to now rewrite the expression of 16 plus 28 in factored form. So factored form means that my GCF is going to be out front. It's the number that is factored out of both of our sums, both of our add-ends. So I'm going to put the 4 out front. I know that 4 pairs with 4, so I'm going to put a 4 inside my parentheses. I'm going to put my addition sign in the middle. And then I'm going to fill in my 7 because 7 times 4 gets me to 28. Now I can rewrite this using expanded form. So I can change factored form into expanded form. I know that when I'm writing my expanded form, I can write two sets of parentheses. I know that a 4 goes in each set of parentheses. 
And then I know that for my 16 set of parentheses, I put another 4. And for my 28 set of parentheses, I put a 7. The final step should be to check your answer. So if we added 16 plus 28, we would get 44. So that means that my factored form as well as my expanded form should both equal 44. So if we add, following order of operations on this side, we add 7 plus 4, we get 11. And then 4 times 11 is 44. 4 times 4 is 16 over here. 4 times 7 is 28. If we add those two together, we also get 44. So that means that our GCF is correct and that we then rewrote our distributive property correctly and we rewrote the sum of the two add-ins or the sum of the two numbers correctly as well. Let's take a look at one more example. Example 2 is 24 plus 40. So we're finding the sum of 24 plus 40. If it helps you, you can do that right away. So 24 plus 40 would be 64. So this is going to kind of help us towards the end when we're checking to make sure that our answer is correct. The first thing I want to do is figure out the factor trees of 24 and 40. So go ahead and do that on your own and then click play again. So my prime factorization of 24 is 2 times 2 times 3. My prime factorization of 40 is 2 times 2 times 5. I'm now going to look for common numbers that they share. I see one set of twos, two sets of twos, three sets of twos. My three doesn't match anything and my five doesn't match anything. So I have two times two times two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So the GCF between 24 and 40 is eight. So now that I know that my GCF is 8, not 80, just 8, I can now use that to rewrite 24 plus 40 using the distributive property. Remember that I need to divide each number by the GCF. 24 divided by 8 is 3, 40 divided by 8 is 5. My GCF is 8, so that would go on the outside. That's my factored number. And I would have 8 times 3 plus 8 times 5. So as I go to rewrite this into expanded form, I know that I'm going to have an 8 in both. And now I just think 8 times what gets me back to 24, that would be the number 3. And 8 times what gets me back to the number 40, that would be the number 5. So here is my factored form, 8 times parentheses 3 plus 5. Here is my expanded form, 8 times 3 plus 8 times 5. And all three of these number sentences are equal to 64. You can check 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 times 8 is 64. And then 8 times 3 gets us back to 24, 8 times 5 gets us back to 40, 40 plus 24 is 64. So just a quick review, the first step is to find the prime factorization of each number. Second step is to identify the GCF between the two numbers or more numbers. Step three is to divide each number by the GCF. And then step four would be to rewrite the sum of the numbers or the sum of in the, our examples, 16 plus 28 and 24 plus 40. And you're going to rewrite those sums using the distributive property in factored form and expanded form.